has it been like? I mean, it's been a victory tour. I've yeah. never been pulled this there, over there, here. And then the lessons that I used to give, they, I just, unfortunately, I just, it's hard for me to, to say no. So it's been difficult to accommodate how these young kids and their parents are thinking, oh, World Series champion pitching coach. Yeah, let's get lessons from him, make my kid a professional. But it's, <laughs> it's been really, really fun and outstanding. This whole experience, the off season, I think it's all starting to finally sink in with what we did last year. And it's been tremendously awesome. Was it particularly a whirlwind for you, given the, yeah. the personal season that you had? You probably didn't really have time along the way to stop and contemplate what actually had been happening. No, not really. It was just kind of just flowed day by day, and then all of a sudden uh, we've got champagne just dumped all over us. <laughs> and that's how fast it really seemed like it happened. But the same attitude was, you know, we'll be fine throughout the whole ordeal, no, no matter what our record was at the time that I first got here. It was, I knew it would be fine. We were going to get healthy. and. And the acquisitions that we made last year proved to be great with Hudson and Para and Asdrubal and Strickland. I mean, it just really played out perfectly. We've seen organizations in the past when they did the kind of starters as relievers postseason thing, mm -hmm. take a really dial things down in spring training before the season, like Boston in particular, yeah. really slow played their guys. So what is the plan for you guys with the process? Max says he's totally on regular schedule. At this yeah, point. some of the guys, it, what's, what's happening is it's such a unique situation because you've only got three months off. And now I've talked to everybody, basically everybody, about how they're feeling and whatnot. And they all feel great. They all took enough time off, and they're, they're on schedule to be ready to go and spring training. And our hope is to get out of the shoot a little bit in better shape. Mm -hmm. uh, when the, when the clock starts, game one, so that they're in, not necessarily mid-season form, but pretty darn close to it. Wait, why mm -hmm. do you, why do you think it, uh, you're the second person? Like Davy alluded to that at the yeah. winter meetings too about just maybe we weren't quite game ready day one last year. What I, is the I, that's so? something that I was told too. Um, yeah. I think we probably just need to do a better job of getting guys uh, multiple innings and multiple back-to-back -back outings during spring training so that they're ready for the. The rigors of a regular season. How do you see that fifth spot in the rotation? That battle it's, facing. I, I like it. I like it that there's, you got Joe Ross, you got Kyle McGowan, you've got Austin Both, you got Eric Fetty, and, and <laughs> somebody's going to climb to the top, and they'll tell us who they are. If you see one of them, maybe if it doesn't make it being in the bullpen as well. Ah, uh, not necessarily. Well, with the uh, the extra pitcher that we're going to be yeah. able to carry, I think that's probably a, po a good possibility. Yeah, I'd like Kenny Harris. That's got to be. Oh, I talked to him the other day. What a superhuman being he is. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him on a daily basis. What an outlook he's got. Yeah, he's tremendous. Yeah. Just, that light is making me sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Right, what else you got? <laughs> I've, never, I've never sweated this much before in my life. Back to the It's 70 degrees. Golly, where's the cool? So when some teams might say, hey, we want to do less in spring training to make sure these guys are uh, physically Oh, because of what year. they did last right. year? So, so what, what makes, as you guys were discussing it, the idea of... They're still going to be smart. No, they're going to be smart um, and not, like, rush into their bullpen sessions in the off season when they're before they get to spring training so they had to take some time off some guys don't like to take time off they like to you know throw a little bit and you know so they don't get too rusty and which is fine everybody's a little bit different and we accommodate those that need a little more time and those that we deem need guidance we give them the guidance so i anticipate everybody being ready to go at whatever pace they need individually so i, I don't put everybody in the box we don't put everybody in a box but we will have guys ready to go day one thank you how's that Thank you. very good